Hi, I'm Katina Grosh, and welcome to this edition of TSN's Vermont Profiles. Did you know that in the early 1800s, mining was an industry in the Deerfield Valley? Hidden among the trees on the Corinthia Slopes at Mount Snow are two iron mines. Bobby Edwards, our instructor and Dover's police chief, took us on a tour of the mines. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a tour of this iron mine behind us. Uh, iron mining was part of an industry here in the Deerfield Valley back, it started in 1820 is when they first dug this particular mine right here. And they mined it for several years until it actually proved to be not profitable. It wasn't that the iron ore was not of a good grade, it was of an excellent grade, but the cost of shipping the iron out of here was very expensive. The mines are located on the old Somerset Road, which traverses what was known then as Somerset Mountain and is known today as Mount Snow. Okay, when we first got there, there's like, um, there's this big like arc shaped thing and you could see like, you could see into it. And then we walked in and we didn't realize how deep the water was. It was about up to our knees. Uh, the caves was like, the caves were like dark and it was, it was really kind of a weird environment. Like I wasn't really used to it, you know, uh, you know, out on the ski slope uh, before you enter into the caves, it's nice and wide open. You can see all the way around you, like you know what to expect. And then you walk through the arc there where the cave begins, and it's just the entire environment is just compact into this little tunnel. The first tunnel was started in 1820 by the Trainer Mining Company. The owner, Mr. Trainer, had sent samples of the ore to England for testing. We found that it was of the highest quality and could be made into high quality cutlery steel. His company excavated two tunnels, one 120 feet and the other 280 feet in a shaft that ran 60 feet deep. We've noticed throughout, the, throughout this whole tunnel, there's little holes all over, little round holes. Those are original drill holes. They didn't have any power tools back then. They didn't, they didn't have the, the dynamite and things that they could use, so everything in this cave was uh, done by hand. They had hand drills uh, and they had pickaxes, and that's why it took so long. It took almost 15 years to actually dig these, these tunnels that are about 280 feet long. We also are not alone here in the, the cave. Uh, throughout, we've noticed there's many spiders, as we have one right here. I have the worst case of arachnophobia ever. When I saw their beady little eyes, and their long legs and their hairy bodies, I, I was not a happy camper. <laughs> I thought they were cool, but the girls didn't like them at all. Um, when I kept pointing them out, they'd scream and yell at me. But I like the spiders. They were all over the ceiling. And... Yeah. So we walked in and with the light on the walls, it made it really like creepy, like there's like the shadows and stuff on the place. And I can't lift too much. Okay, I need to get out of the sludge before my toes are going to be amputated. No, I need to be so cold, you don't understand. Just might as well hit the sand. Yeah. Uh -huh. no big deal. I'm like really person. Look at my feet, 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 feet being so cold. Oh, my feet were a little cold that day because I... Uh, I didn't bring a pair of uh, waiters, so I thought that, you know, Mr. Edwards might have a pair for me, but I got there last, so I got the shaft from that. After the ore was extracted, it would be taken by ox cart down the old Somerset Road. This road came out of what was known as the Four Corners, which today is the intersection of Handle Road and Tannery Road. From here, the ore was taken to a forge that was erected on the Lime Kiln Brook, just across from the Two Tannery Road restaurant. Evidence of the old forge can still be found today. After the ore was smelted into crude iron bars, it was transported over Somerset Mountain to Bennington and Troy, New York. Um, I think it's really cool in here. And the spiders are very scary. It was, uh, it was like an iron deposit was underneath the clay. It was, like, it was like mud sitting on an iron deposit. It was really orange, bright orange clay, kind of like Play-Doh. 
good seven inches deep, and Ethan had shoes on. That's what I remember the most. Go. I would go for a knock. Walked into the cave and we just saw one bat and then it started growing, got two bats, family of bats, and then we got made it to the end and there was just the bat cave. The bats were scary because I thought we were just going to disturb um, like one fly up, then they all fly up, but none, they're all sleeping because it's sort of cold in there. But they're cool. It was Jeff Arsenal, it was a few people ahead of me, and he just signed his flashlight up and he just said, They're bats, and I freaked out. Two more here. You know, the bats were just, it was terrifying being in there. You know, you're sitting there, you're maybe two feet the most away from just these ugly, hairy, just disgusting creatures. And it just, it was, it, I just really felt like nervous being in there. You know, I thought that we were going to, I thought for sure we were going to wake them up. I don't know if it's, Dripping over the years has caused like a, oh. a mineral buildup. It's pretty neat because it's, it's all over this wall here where it leaks. Mm. And yes, this thing is covered with bats. In 1832, Wilder and Richards of New York took over the mines and after a few short years, they were abandoned again. The land, which once sold for $50,000, was now selling for 12 and a half cents per acre, including the lumber. Oh, oh watch it, buddy. Oh! 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 Ah! Jeff will kill you. Heads up. <laughs> Watch that, Jimmy. I couldn't imagine trying to dig out that entire cave with just a hammer and just a pick. It just, it's, I can't even imagine it. It had to have been the hardest thing. It's like walking into the past, you know, just seeing like what other people have done for jobs for 15 years, digging out a 200 foot shaft of rock and it's, it was just, it was exciting. It was exciting and scary and just different, eerie. It was real eerie. Just. I, I can't imagine how long it took him. How stressful it might have been, the labor that went into that place. It just—it was incredible to look at, and um, I, I, it just—it amazed me. We would like to thank you for joining us on Vermont Profiles. I'm Katina Grosh for the Student Network.